Will Italy hold elections sooner rather than later? Do you think it'll be better for the markets and for the stability of the country? Well, of course, I mean, uh, keeping the uncertainty for long would be, would be damaging. But more important of all would be what would be the issue uh, that will be decided by uh, elections. Uh, because if uh, there is a doubt uh, that uh, the uh, parties uh, that uh, are likely to form other government would uh, press uh, for Euro exit, uh, we would see this uh, turmoil and these difficulties uh, continuing uh, to a very sad end. If they would uh, give a credible commitment that the euro is not uh, under question, uh, then uh, elections would take place in a much, much more orderly way. And I don't think that it would be too difficult, especially for a Movimento Cinque Stelle, to give this uh, credible uh, commitment. They could still say, no, I mean, we will stay with the euro. All the rest uh, is under discussion, but the euro is not. All right, but many people see the upcoming vote uh, as an informal referendum on Italians' view on the euro. That's certainly how the markets will perceive it. Is that wrong? Well, it would not be wrong uh, if uh, the, there is no credible commitment, uh, if uh, the parties Cinque Stelle and to some extent La Lega uh, manage to say, no, I mean, this is not on the table. We are not uh, discussing, we're not considering, uh, unlike uh, what we said uh, until now, uh, the, the participation of Italy to the euro. If they don't say that, then yes, it will become a referendum uh, on the euro and then it will depend whether the referendum, the way it will go. Uh, whether Italians would say no to the euro, possibly no to the European Union, uh, or whether they would say yes to the euro and yes to the European Union. Right, but Mr. Papadia, is there a danger that actually, um, we, you know, we had, for example, Mr. Salvini yesterday of Lega saying that this would not be a vote on the euro straight away. Is there a danger that actually the platform of the election will not be on euro, that it will not be on the EU, but that then whoever comes into party, if it is the five star and Lega, will try and get Italy out of the euro? Well, I mean, they're making uh, this uh, noise about uh, the euro for very long. Uh, so it's understandable that now that they are on the brink of uh, uh, governing the country, uh, investors are savers in Italy because uh, let's uh, remember that uh, two thirds uh, of Italian debt are now, uh, is now held by Italians are worried. I mean, they want to know what happens to their savings. Uh, will they be reimbursed in, in euros or in something else? Uh, and if this reassurance is not given, uh, we will continue to have uh, uh, this uh, terrible turmoil on the market. Okay, do Italians support the euro or not? I know yesterday there, there was you know, a lot of uh, scandals being picked up by the Italian press because of something that Mr. Ottinger said, saying the markets will show Italians how to vote. A lot of people in Brussels said that was wrong and he shouldn't have said that, but will it play into the psyche of the Italian voter? Well, um, if you look at uh, the uh, euro barometers, uh, you find out uh, that uh, within the euro area, the Italians are the least uh, supportive uh, of the euro, yet uh, there, are more there is more support for the euro than against uh, the euro, uh, according to euro barometers. So my take is uh, that Italians are not uh, in favor of leaving the euro. They understand that a close link uh, to the euro, a close link to the European Union, is the best way for Italy to become a fairer country, a richer country, a less corrupt country. Uh, and uh, this is uh, tied uh, to uh, remaining uh, a member uh, of the euro area and remaining a member of the European Union. Uh, Mr. Papadia, we have in less than an hour uh, quite a big auction for Italian bonds. Do you think this is a litmus test? No, I don't think uh, we, can, uh, we can say that that would be the end of uh, the story one way or, th or the other. I mean, we are in a very, very uh, volatile situation. Uh, everything can happen. Uh, everything can, uh, can come out uh, from uh, the political sphere. Uh, so, no, I think uh, whether it goes well or it goes badly, that will not be the end of the story.
Uh, will it change the way that the ECB perceives risk in Europe? Does it become a Euro crisis 2.0? And does it change their normalization plans? I don't think so. I don't think so in any significant way. Um, I think that the ECB can do very little in these conditions one way or the other. I mean, the problem was created by Italians. It's a political problem. It's not an economic problem. And Italians have to deal with the problem. They cannot expect that the ECB would come and, would come and help. I mean, the, the governing council would never agree to help a country that does not want to be helped. Uh, and uh, any action uh, that the ECB could do would not settle uh, the redenomination risk of the political problem. So I don't think uh, that um, the ECB uh, can do much in these conditions, except uh, than saying that they will continue doing what uh, they have uh, what they have done, uh, but uh, nothing more than that. Do you believe the markets overreacted yesterday? Um, I, I think you know the markets reacting uh, in a way that cannot be forecast. Uh, it's, uh, it's, a very, uh, it's a very futile exercise to, to try and, and, and judge and guess uh, what the market will do in the next uh, uh, hours or so. Um, the basic issue uh, is uh, that the confidence of the markets uh, about Italy remaining in the euro has been shaken. Redenomination risk is the issue. And until this redenomination risk is not taken out of the table, the turmoil will continue.